Hey guys, what's happening? So, got to flush my truck again, do a back flush. Um, I actually previously done it with the CLR, and it actually it brought it down a couple degrees, but then it's it's about a six months or a year later, I don't know, and it's kind of creeping up again. It's up to 20 degree delta, so. Um, this time I thought I'd try Lime Away. And I also, uh, in the last video, I, I put together the, uh, the black back flush tool. And this was made from like an old sandblaster. And that's the uh, uh, EGR uh, cooler adapter. All right, so this kind of I'm gonna drain it and uh, do a back flush. But I'm also gonna use actually uh, more more pressure, more air pressure this time. See if I can get more debris out. But the main thing is I'm always worried about splitting the oil, the oil cooler because uh, with too much pressure, it's you know you're gonna typically the oil will usually go into the cooling system because it's the cooling system is lower pressure than the oil oil cooler or the oil side of it so oil pressure anyways anywhere from like 30 to 65 psi um but all right so uh let's get this going awesome all right so i'm draining the cooler right now i already did the elc conversion um but one of the important things is if you let your deltas get out of control the device that's downstream from the uh the oil cooler is the egr cooler and if that thing's not getting sufficient coolant that thing will crack and then when that thing cracks, you're gonna be having you'll have coolant in your intake, and uh, that's when you blow head gasket. So I'm actually running the original head gaskets, almost 200,000 miles so far. So, but I'm kind of hyper paranoid about this truck though. So, all right. So that is the EGR cooler down there. Um, oil cooler, I mean. Well, EGR EGR cooler slash oil cooler. Um, all right. So I gotta take this uh, turbo pipe off and. Uh, in there. Alright, so I'm getting in there with a quarter inch long extension, a swivel on there, and a little socket here. There. Putting a rubber strap on there to hold the harness definitely makes it easier to get there. That's it right in there. Getting the screws right now is a little bit easier when you have that little three jaw puller or a magnet. The back flush tool is in. Gotta pull the layer, lower radiator hose off and uh, start draining the thing. All right, so I have this big buck right here. I'm hoping I'll be able to catch the debris because I want to see how much debris comes out. Nobody wouldn't care, but I just want to see what's coming out of this thing. All right, All right so I'm gonna start this thing off at 30 psi. So I know the cooling system side can handle 15 psi, and the uh, oil side can handle at least 60 psi. So um, I'm gonna try to get this up to 90, maybe 100. I don't know. Let's see. Alright, that's 30 psi. So I'm gonna do that for a while and I'll come back and I'll fill with some um, the uh, lime oil. You guys can see that, but that's actually, I haven't even put the lime oil in yet. That's what I already got out already. So I don't know if that's just, uh, just you know, messed up coolant that uh, solidified or if it's just like casting sands or what it is, but alright, that's what I got so far. All right, so I got the, uh, I'm gonna use a, probably about, a th yeah, I'm probably gonna need this in three different shots. Put the funnel and pour it in like that. All right, now I got the lime oil and I'm gonna let it soak for like 30 minutes, come back. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is run a gallon of distilled water through it and it's, hopefully I'm gonna clean up a little of the tap water, but uh, it's not gonna be perfect, but, all right. All right, there it is, guys. So it looks like a lot of, like a, rust, a lot of rusty debris. Let me zoom in if you can see that. Um, so I should probably run some like VC9 through it. The descaler, the rust descaler. But yeah, it's a lot of debris. Um, all right, cool. Hopefully this works. Now I'm gonna put some more of that uh, Motel ELC right there into it. So, all right, guys. We'll see. I'm going up to the uh, up to my cabin. So that's actually where I'm mainly concerned about is like when I'm going up uh, up a mountain. You know, that's when it gets really bad. So on the freeway doing about 70 was getting to about 20, 22 degrees, the delta. All right. 